Hi guys, uh, so if you guys remember that last time we had set up the instance uh, with all the uh, external IP and the TCP port along with that. So this time what we'll do is we'll set up all the dependencies uh, uh, like Python and uh, libraries like TensorFlow, sorry, frameworks like TensorFlow uh, as well as uh, the IPython notebook to get you all started. So, so let's start then. So the first thing what we do is we type sudo update perfect okay so the next thing uh, what we have to do is uh, sudo apt get upgrade so the next step is sudo app get assume yes install Software properties common done. So uh, we are uh, done with this part. Next, we have to install uh, the uh, setup tool Python uh, development uh, essential basically. So sudo app get install python setup tools python dev build essential you have to press yes or you can also do enter both ways it will work Uh, now we install uh, pip it's done uh, so the next step will be to install the uh, jupyter so we can do sudo pip install jupyter So now next step is to run the Jupyter notebook uh, generate config command. The next step is to run sudo nano. Uh, so let's do one thing. Let's just uh, we can just copy from here instead of typing this. Uh, okay. So now what we have to do is we have to uh, type these following commands which is nothing but this. Uh, so uh, guys uh, do remember to uh, put the right port number like in my case it's 1000 but uh, you guys might put something else so make sure to you know uh, put the right uh, port number otherwise it won't uh, get executed. So all these three commands will remain uh, as it is just this uh, port has to change.
next we will save this file so we will put con we will uh, press control o and then enter and then control x so we are done with this step now so here we go so next step is to uh, you know get started with the execution part uh, if, if I guess oh so this browser went over here so next no no issue so if these things happen you can do one thing you can just run tmux and uh, this is how it works so tmux helps you in you know working on, on uh, multiple mul basically it gives you uh, the accessibility or you can say a privilege to if you have one screen you can still work on multiple screens let's see how so you press control b and shift uh, uh, double quotes so control b and shift double quotes and if you want to exit from any of the screens you can just press exit and it will go from and if you again press exit it will go back to the command line so let's just uh, for now let's uh, get uh, two different screens and now it's time to uh, set up the Jupyter password. It's it's important because otherwise it will you know every time it will prompt you to you know enter a password a token basically. So you can put any password you want here. It's done. So uh, next step is to uh, run the uh, what you call is your Jupyter notebook. So here we go. Uh, let's see if it works or not. Let's check it's running on this port or not. It says it's denied, but uh, anyways, let's. So our external port is this. Okay. Let's copy this. Mm, interesting. It says problem connecting. Uh, anyways, we'll uh, check this again. Uh, let me just go into this the networking set up this and see what was the what happened I didn't get was the out of okay. let's see the five of you yeah it's thousand only I guess uh, let's check the external IP So uh, we can probably, you know, it's, it's a good thing actually. We I, I didn't face this kind of issue uh, when I was doing. So mm, let's try troubleshooting it then. Uh, what we do is we press this and we uh, try going into this uh, config file again and see what uh, was the port number correct or not. I suppose it was, but again, uh, just to cross verify. So it is correct. Let's just try thing, you know. Otherwise we'll try changing the port. That's all we have. Uh, nothing else we can do otherwise. So, so we'll just press control, enter, control X. And then we'll uh, run some Oh, yeah, it's not working. So let's do one thing. Let's 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 just change the uh, port. I think that's the best we can do. Let's open this and let's make the port number uh, instead of thousand. Let's make it two thousand. Okay, yeah, it's fine. All instances in the network. Let's make it uh, uh, five thousand. See whether it gets updated or not. Uh, 
meanwhile we can open the same file and change the port number let's update it let's hope it works this time Control O, Enter, Control X. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it works. So maybe there was some issue in the port. Uh, maybe because of that it was not working. So this time it worked. So you can probably, if you face this issue, just change the port. That's the best thing you can do. So here we go, you get the Jupyter Notebook, just enter the password which you had set up and you are good to go. Uh, let's do one thing, let's uh, install uh, TensorFlow and try uh, running, so we can do sudo install tensorflow and just try writing a small code but uh, even if, if uh, it works till here I guess it's pretty much uh, fine uh, you can use numpy for the basic uh, matrix multiplication addition you can try at least that uh, for the time being uh, I hope tensorflow should also work uh, it worked in my case so anyways let's let's uh, get into this open the python 2 notebook so it's python 2.7.12 let's open the notebook so far so good So I hope you guys follow the same steps which I did, uh, then you guys won't have any issue irrespective of the uh, system you use. Yeah, so TensorFlow works, perfect. Uh, let's type hello is equal to tf dot constant. Let's say hello world to our first program. So now that you guys know how to do it, you can uh, the same way as I installed uh, TensorFlow, you can install uh, uh, like I like there is a library uh, called uh, Jensen. So you can install that to work on uh, you know uh, natural language processing. So it's really cool. I mean, uh, you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to buy a new system and things start working. So here you go. So uh, big cheers for. Uh, me and you all for staying with me for so long and uh, uh, I hope now that you guys are familiar with how to install everything you guys will be able to do it on your own uh, still if you guys face any issue uh, please feel free to uh, you know ask anything you would want to in the comment section of part 1 and part 2 video so uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial for installing uh, the instance CPU instance and I hope you guys do really well and uh, you know you guys are able to uh, you know write codes in this IPython Jupyter Notebook which is really great because the reason I'm saying is so because uh, you can see the, the moment I type a single line you just have to press shift enter and your code compiles and in fact runs so it compiles and runs so even if you get a small error uh, you will get to know that I, I just show you how it happens so in, instead of if instead of uh, typing import TensorFlow as TF, if I write import TensorFlow as TF1, you'll okay. So you can still do that. 
but because I have just used but but here you will see an error because I have written tr dot constant. Oh, that's strange. It, this should not happen. Let me just uh, restart the kernel. So yeah, one more thing. If you guys have any, you know, if you guys get any uh, error or uh, you guys have any error like TensorFlow is missing, and if you try to install that, after that just make sure to you know restart this uh, kernel. So this way it might uh, you know help you in uh, solving the issue you see uh, so the last time it didn't work uh, so I just restarted the kernel and you know there it is it says TF is not defined because I've done a TF part so it's it's so beautiful you know uh, uh, it's it's such uh, you know such user friendly I would say and now it works now here you'll see an error probably <laughs> so it's it's really good I would say So thank you guys. That's that's it. I would uh, I'm I'm planning to you know uh, start some uh, tutorials uh, on Jupyter Notebook. Probably start with the uh, k-means uh, nearest neighbor, and then uh, probably go forward with the linear logistic image classification, convolution neural network, uh, recurrent neural network, long short term memory, and uh, you know do something regarding word to vector. I've already done one. You know I did one. Uh, I was reading a book, so I. Uh, converted those corpus. I I use that corpus to convert into, you know, uh, the uh, vector form. So that's that's really amazing. You know, deep learning is superbly amazing field, and it's 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 very interesting. So thank you guys. Hope you all like the video. Please don't forget to share, comment, like if you if it helped you in any any which way. Thank you so much.